Hey everyone, Fasted here. I'm out here with one, two, three, four, five, six people, and this video is gonna be about cornering, uh, diagnosing cornering problems. So I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna go through a corner, and I'm gonna mess up something, either my line, my head turn, my throttle, my whatever I'm doing, and then I'm gonna stop, and they're all gonna give me feedback of what they saw, what I did incorrectly, and I will talk about it, and I'll go through again, and I'll do a different mistake, just so they can get the idea of what they see and how it relates to problems out on the real road. Check it out. Guys ready to give some feedback? So what did you notice? So you didn't uh, actually move your body to the corner. Yep. You didn't move your head at all. So no and then you went so, wide. So by position or not, for street riding, you can stay neutral. You can move your body. That's all great. So the second thing you said, I didn't do what with my head? Didn't turn. I didn't turn you it. Didn't turn. So a lot of people do this, right? I want to go right, but my I'm like this. <laughs> That's not a head turn. Where's my chin pointing? Still. Still. You need yeah. to point your chin where you want to go. That's a big, big, big problem. Yeah, you didn't. Uh, it's hard. You got yeah, it. turn early. I turned in so early. My front tire was like where? Like way the heck over there. Yeah. Way yeah. too soon. Yeah. And what was the result? You out. You out. Why? So head turn and line selection. So those two things, now I'll do it a, a different way. And you guys tell me what you guys see. All right. So what was the end result? You went wide. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm going left, and on the line, it's a guardrail. It's the edge of the cliff, it's a parked car, I went wide. But now I turned my head, and now I start on the outside. Why did I go wide? Because you didn't, body position wasn't there. Chip and in. then you're- Say it again. Chip in. I stayed wide the whole damn time. I never committed, I never turned the bike. You gotta decide, you have to decide. I wanna turn the bike now. If I'm going left, you need to push left to go left. You're not counter steering. You're just hoping the bike will eventually make the corner. Instead of being in control of this piece of machine, I'm hoping the bike will do it for me. I hope I make it, and you realize, oh crap, I'm dead. Or I just blew off the cliff. So I'm just barely leaning the bike, just hoping maybe I'll make it, maybe I'll make it. So I'll do the exact same thing, exact same speed, but now you'll see, I'll make a conscious decision. I want to turn the bike now. And you guys tell me the difference. What do you see? It was like did you the bike go? slowly lean or yes. did it lean? It leaned. So at that point, I wanted to turn the bike. I turned the bike immediately when I decide to turn, because you want the most lean in the very beginning when you're going slow, the slowest. If I'm leaning the most at the very, very exit, I'm leaning the most at the exit. The exit is the fastest part of the turn. You're what the heck is that? You don't add acceleration and lean. That's how you crash. So if you go in way too fast and you can't get back on the throttle, you notice yourself leaning way too much to the exit, but a lot of people crash that way. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna do knee dragging stuff. Tell me where my knee hits the ground and what's the bad of how I do it, when it does it. When does my knee actually touch the ground?
start early. So when did it hit the ground? Over here. So I started on the outside, right? Yes. I'm going left, so I started on the outside, and it hit in the beginning. Yeah. Before halfway, definitely, right? Yes. Now, as I, Early. now if my knee's touching the ground before halfway, that means I'm leaning enough to get my knee to touch the ground. So I'm leaning the most in the beginning half. At the second half, was my knee on the ground? No! So I'm pushing the bike upright as I'm coming out of the corner, less lean, less risk. Now tell me the difference. When did my knee hit the ground? Okay. At the total exit. Yeah. Now I'm leaning the most at the exit when I'm going the fastest. That's insane. Did it even immediately look like you didn't even have as much stability? Exactly. I'm at the exit of the corner, I'm rolling on the gas, I'm like, holy crap, and now my knee's still on the ground. So that's, the, that's the problem is people are trying to get their knee down. They don't understand everything I just said, and they're trying to do it just mindlessly, just with no thought of when to do it or why to do it or how to do it. That's a big, big problem when you combine all those things together, right? And you could do it. You could go in circles and practice knee dragging all day long just to get the idea of how to do it. When you apply it to a real world scenario, we have to put in throttle, line, vision, body position, speed, everything together. It gets, there's so many different levels of now of when your knees should touch the ground and why. And why is it beneficial to do that? So just to get a different perspective, I'll go right. I'll do a couple of the same mistakes. I jacked up a lot of things. I right, went wide, that was the result. Why did I go wide? Why? Right? What did I do wrong? You didn't turn the bike. You didn't turn. Turn the bike. I was kind of hoping the bike would turn eventually. You didn't turn your head. I didn't turn my head. I'm looking down at the ground. I had to roll off the throttle, which made me go like this. The suspension was all jacked up. But my knee hit the ground, right? And that's cool. I look cool. How cool do you look? I just crashed. It's ridiculous. No knee dragging, no nothing. So 99% of the time I'm on the street, only thing I do is my upper body. But if you have line selection, vision, throttle, all those things down, you can take this corner really easily, smoothly, and a lot safer without trying to do knee dragging stuff like the track road girls. And I'll do it like that with just upper body, but I'll go even faster. And it'll still be safer than what I just did, even at faster speeds. Last two or three laps, I was going faster than what I ever did. I'm not knee dragging, I'm not doing anything crazy. Because people try to do all kinds of Mark Marquez stuff like this, but they're going over the double double yellow line. Who cares how good you look if you just if you're dead, if you just crash face first into a car, if you're doing stuff you have no experience of doing or education. That's why I say take courses to learn how to do it, then you have to put in the time to come out here or wherever and actually practice the stuff. But if you can't take this corner at 25 miles per hour and come out at 30, how in the world or why would you ever go out there and do it in real road riding with two-way streets? Jump into your car and go the opposite direction. Go right and I'll go left. You go 25, I'll go 25. Who would be comfortable doing that right now? You. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're not willing to do that right now at 25 miles per hour, a car going the opposite direction, I go the other way. How in the world do you feel confident or why would you do that out there? Now there's gravel, car snakes, blind corners, oil, water, animals. All these things to consider, this is a sterile, clean, safe environment, we're going 25. 
and no one would be willing to have him jump in the car and do that. You really gotta think about, this is what I mean by practice, not just going out in the parking lot, like, oh, I'm messing around for an hour and this is fun. Really think about what the hell you're doing so you can actually make it safer out there for you, right? So just like the t-shirt says, you got our t-shirt in there, start from practice. practice. So I'm gonna jump off the bike, you guys start going through corners, and I'll start giving you guys a couple tips and tricks to help you get better. Sound good? Good. See you later, everybody.